A black activist fitness trainer is going viral on the internet after she got called out for filming a man while he was working out and making fun of him. Now, of course, the internet had much to say about this, and she's now playing the race card, saying the only reason she's being called out is because she's a black woman. Womp womp. Let's talk about it. Yeah, you better. Yeah, you better. All right, guys, before we get into today's video, please like and subscribe. You know I love doing fitness slash gym content, especially when people are freaking out or causing controversy at the gym. And today we're gonna be talking about Zara Fitness. At least that's what she goes by online. She is apparently a Bay Area black activist using her platform as a personal trainer to heal and empower her community through fitness. She is a beacon of hope. Now we're gonna meet this beacon of hope in today's video and see if we feel the same way about her as she feels about herself. We're gonna watch this video from Joey Swole, who actually caught Zara Fitness making fun of a fellow black man at the gym. Let's watch. This serious, y'all. Doing unnecessary at the gym right now. So what this man is doing is called a chest supported seal row. This is actually a great exercise. It's good for isolating the upper back, the lats, and by laying flat with your feet off the ground, you remove any cheating or momentum that you would get from your legs or your hips. It's also really good for people that have lower back problems and can't do the conventional bent over row. It's such a great exercise that they literally make a bench for this. Now, unfortunately, you're not gonna see these benches in big commercial gyms, but it's not uncommon to see people makeshift the bench just like he does. I've done it many times. But what's worst of all is that you're a certified personal trainer and you don't know this or know better than to film someone, to post on social media to make fun of him. And you recruit other people to join in and laugh at him too? Seriously? Shame on you. You need to do better. Mind your own business. You got to leave it to Joey Swole, man. He's going to find you if you're doing something controversial at the gym and he's going to call your ass out. <laughs> in this case, it's probably necessary. I know we live in this world of content and influencers and everybody's filming everything they do all day long, but I am so against filming people without their knowledge, taking photos of people without their knowledge. And the fact that she went even beyond that to make fun of a man who's doing exercises at the gym all in his lonesome and with good form, it's absolutely ridiculous. Now you'd think upon being called out for this on the internet, where you know the public really becomes your judge, jury, and executioner, you would maybe back up a little bit and realize, you know what, maybe I shouldn't film somebody without their consent. And beyond that, I shouldn't be making fun of random people on the internet for laughs and to kiki it up with my own audience. But apparently she did not come to this realization herself. She decided to pull the black card and say that the reason that so many people were coming after her for what she did is because she's a black woman and this is what the black experience looks like this serious y'all doing unnecessary at the gym right now just want to give an update to this video from last night where this woman films this man to post on social media to make fun of him for the exercise that he's doing, which turns out to be a very legitimate exercise. Now, did she take accountability and realize that what she did was wrong? No. Instead, she posted bragging about how many views she had and then played the victim card, saying that the only reason people were upset with her was because she was a black woman. Here's what she posted. But what I'm gonna do is once again, spread knowledge to show you guys how it feels to be a black woman when we just show up in this world. Being a black woman has nothing to do with it. And it's not just white males that are upset with you. As a matter of fact, the first person to disagree with you was a black woman and you attacked her for it. The gym is one community, regardless of race and gender. As long as you respect and support others, you're going to get the same back. People are mad at you because you disrespected somebody, filmed them, and posted it on social media to make fun of them. Which, by the way, is against the rules of 24-hour fitness. And that reminds me, I talked to them. 
They're trying to get a hold of you. I suggest you take their call. You need to do better. Mind your own business. Joey Swole is really like a modern day gym vigilante <laughs> he's going through and making sure people are held accountable. Now, I don't want to send any hate this woman's way. She's probably dealing with enough backlash with everything she's done. I just want to point this out as like a case study in black woke activist brain rot as she is so clearly dealing with this issue. To do something that is pretty much unanimously viewed as wrong and then to stand on the other end of that action and say you're getting criticized because you're a black woman is just so dumbfounded to me, but it is the day we live in. And when you find yourself consumed with this woke ideology that places yourself in a marginalized category for being black and being a woman, this is how you interpret everything that happens to you in life. You must be the victim. You must come out on the other end to try and gain some sort of sympathy from people by making them view you as oppressed. And she knows that that is the formula. So no matter what she does, she's going to lean on that exact formula. And this time it's not working. And I did go and check out her social media just to confirm some of the suspicions I have about her mindset and ideology. And you bet it was confirmed. On her Instagram, it says POV, you created a girls group for marginalized youth funded by the people. In her Instagram bio, she refers to herself as a black queer trainer. What your race and your sexuality has to do with your training experience, I have no clue, but there it is. On her TikTok, it says normalize women and non-binary to weightlift. On Twitter, she urges people to invest in black and brown trainers, says that she is black history, whatever that means, and refers to herself as a black activist. <laughs> and you know I'm gonna say this, and I wanted to try to say this nicely, but I don't know that I can. When you are consumed with these superficial identity characteristics, and they are at the forefront of your brain at all times, and this is how you view your identity, this is what you consume yourself with, sometimes other parts of your personality and your morality fall by the wayside and you don't have time to develop those parts of yourself, which is why you have this black queer activist who cares about marginalized people filming a black man who is doing his workout and then making fun of him on the internet. That's really pro-black behavior. You're doing a lot for black people. And I think she actually has been banned from the gym. So I guess she's now going to say this is some form of systemic discrimination against her. And she's even using this moment to endorse Kamala Harris and call Republicans racist, which is so f funny. Let's read it. Tonight I'll be posting a video that provides the full context behind the situation. A white influencer took my original post and made assumptions about what he thought was happening. This led to an influx of white Republicans and racist bots flooding my Instagram with hateful comments. This behavior is unacceptable, but it also highlights the harsh reality of the world we live in. It's giving vote Kamala Harris vibes because these individuals clearly don't grasp the bigger picture in the post. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I know what many of you are probably gonna be thinking. Amala, this is such a small situation. Why are you dedicating an entire video to this? But this small situation speaks to a larger, much more profound mindset that so many in our society are currently operating in. And it is this mix, this juxtaposition of feeling a moral superiority, but also signaling this false virtue that you don't actually exercise in your daily life pun intended. If I go by what this woman's social media says, she is a utopian ethicist who cares about marginalized people, wants to lift up those in the community and build a society that is equitable for all. But when I go to her daily lifestyle and how she treats other people, she is a bully who mocks those that are just trying to lead a healthy lifestyle. And I've said this once, I'll say it again. I recognize the behavior in the mindset cause your girl had the behavior in the mindset I used to be a super woke leftist who leaned on the crutch of my own blackness in order to make myself feel better about my moral virtues while also signaling to other people that I was better than them. And that works oftentimes in politics. We've sort of put people into their own groups. The left is this utopian, idealist, wonderful group, and the right are fascist racists. And she can signal that all day long with very little pushback. But when your superior 
insecurity that you feel over other people bleeds into your actual life where you're making fun of people at the gym, people start to recognize that maybe you're not the activist that you say you are. Maybe your ideology is just a crutch that you lean on every time you need to justify your bad behavior. Because when you're a black woman who's constantly being attacked in the reality of the world we live in, you are never the one who's at fault, even if your actions clearly indicate that you are. Because if the entire structure of our world is built in this oppressor, oppressed narrative, she will always be oppressed, no matter what she does, no matter how far she goes, no matter how much of this ideology she leans on. And you'll see people like this utilize the opportunity to play the victim at every possible chance they get. All that was needed here was maybe a little bit of accountability. Even less than that, maybe she could have just deleted the video. But no, she chose to keep it up, double down, virtue signal, talk about her blackness, because she can't possibly look inward at her own actions to see if what she's done is wrong. And I can't stress this enough, what she's done to another black man. I know she says in her post that it's giving vote Kamala Harris 2024 vibes, but ironically, it's actually an ad for Donald Trump. If this is what we have to look forward to from Kamala Harris voters, you might wanna consider changing your ballot. But guys, those are just my thoughts. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Leave it to me to maybe blow a small situation out of proportion, but I had to talk about what's really underlying in these actions. I cannot help myself. So let me know how you guys feel about it down below. As always, if you disagree with anything said in this video, duke it out, but do so respectfully. We like healthy debate on this channel. And if you like this video, like, subscribe, click the notification bell to be notified every single time I post a video for you guys. And if you don't, I'll feel like you did it because I'm a black woman and you don't like black women. Bye guys. Yeah, you better. Yeah, you better.